Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Uh, my name is uh, is Ryan Powell. Okay, I am the international recruitment officer for the Middle East and North Africa, and um, for Cardiff Metropolitan University in the UK. I want to thank you for attending this session this evening and um, for giving up your your Friday evening to uh, to to attend this session. Also, want to thank um, obviously BISA for helping coordinate and facilitate this session as well. Um, now, the idea obviously with the session is probably going to take around about an hour there or thereabouts for questions. Um, I shall tell you a little bit about Cardiff Metropolitan University and the, and the fantastic city in which the university uh, resides. Um, and then we'll take some questions from you uh, via BISA. Very unusual circumstance, obviously, to be uh, to be completing uh, and taking part in an event like this. Um, without the current circumstances, I would have been in Cairo um, and having a chance to uh, to meet you this evening. But unfortunately, the, the, the way things are, uh, at least we have the opportunity to talk and to tell you a little bit about this university. If everyone can hear me okay. What I will do, um, I will obviously run through the presentation. But I will break out as well at certain areas and show you some videos, okay, to give you a, give you a, a true feel and true picture of Cardiff Metropolitan. Okay, if you just bear with me while I while I start the presentation for you. There we go. I should just share that screen with you so you can see that as well. Second. There we go. I hope you can hold, can all sit, see the screen now, and you should have the the, the information on it in front for uh, for the for our front screen for Cardiff Metropolitan on behalf of BISA. And so I'd like to thank again uh, the members of BISA for organising this event, a fantastic partner for us in in Egypt, um, and somebody that we we trust very very highly. Um, and so obviously after this session with the questions, if you have any questions, I'm sure BISA would obviously uh, help us out. Um, and help you out in country to, to see if we can find the right solution for you for studying in the United Kingdom. So Cardiff Metropolitan. Okay. Um, oh, be with me a second, technical issue here. Some reason that doesn't want to work for me. Let me just try and run that again. Apologies on this. The first, um, the very first slide I want to talk about, really, okay, is the situation for COVID. Okay, unfortunately, it is a global issue. We appreciate that, um, and obviously, uh, yeah, the, the the impact it's had across the world is 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 uh, is extra extraordinary, really. Um, but obviously, from Cardiff Metropolitan's perspective, okay, what we want to do is just assure you that everything um, for, for autumn, uh, for the autumn uh, intake, will be running as, as expected. Slightly delayed, okay, so again, apologies, I'm just trying to run this slide up for you. Um, there we go. So again, hopefully you can see this. So our autumn start, okay, we are looking at commencing all of our teaching at Cardiff Metropolitan University. The week commences on the 28th of September, and that is for all students across all programmes. Now, it's slightly later than we anticipated, but we're very happy as a university that we're in a position that we feel that we've adhered to the government guidelines, and we're in, in a position to, to start the teaching of all of our programmes. So that is a fantastic achievement for everybody at Cardiff Metropolitan. Obviously in saying that, the safety of the students and staff is paramount, okay? And I just want you to be aware that the university have made massive, massive efforts to ensure um, that social distancing and UK government guidelines have been adhered to. 
there's still work being completed on the campus to, to, to make this even more safe. Um, but again, we feel from a university, we're looking forward to getting back. We're looking forward to, uh, to resuming some sort of normality on campus. We do have uh, a number of frequently asked questions, okay, that we have on all of our web pages. And again, we use that site as an update, a regular update site for you, for students, for potential students, to know what the situation is within in coming to the UK and the COVID situation. But as we stand at the moment, we are anticipating to run, um, as we see there, from the 28th of September. So I think that's a good news. That's good news for, for you as students. Okay, so a little bit about the university then. Some of you may be saying, well, where is Cardiff? Okay, Cardiff is, as you can see on the map there, um, it's in Wales, okay, the capital city of Wales. Um, and we're, we're probably famous for a certain footballer, uh, maybe not so much as, uh, as this famous footballer, okay, for Cardiff City, um, um, uh, Cardiff in, in the city of Wales, and obviously Gareth Bale. So, so Cardiff, uh, Cardiff Met is located in the city centre of Wales. Okay, and Gareth Bale is our, is our football hero, just as uh, Mohamed Salah is for, uh, for you in Egypt. So you can see nicely located, um, approximately two hours from London. Okay, and again, other UK cities, very easily accessible from, from transport. And Wales itself, okay, so Cardiff Metropolitan, as we said, it is located in the capital city of Wales. Very, very beautiful country with home and national parks. Okay, it's a very beautiful city, a very, very beautiful country. Okay, once you leave the city environment, and um, there's lots of green space, and obviously a, a fantastic coastline. Cardiff is also a very modern, vibrant capital city. Okay, and this is obviously important for students as well, thinking about their options in coming to the UK. Um, very modern, very vibrant, uh, very cosmopolitan ca capital city, okay, with everything you would expect from, from, from an up and coming city, from your heritage to culture, to sport, to leisure, to shopping, to businesses, okay. Cardiff really is a city that's got it all, and it's a very fun and safe city, which is obviously very, very important for, uh, for potential students looking at coming into the UK. I'd like to take this moment, rather than me telling you a little bit more about Cardiff, is to actually show you the, a, a small video. Okay, so if you can just bear with me a second while I load the video up. And again, it's just an idea to show you a little bit more about this, uh, this fantastic city um, and country. So just bear with me two seconds while we find. Now, all of these videos I'm going to show you, okay, are available on our YouTube channel. Okay, so I'll talk about that towards the end of this session. Um, so they are available to look at and you can, you can use those resources and those videos for all aspects of coming to, uh, to the UK. So I'm just going to bring this video up just to show you Cardiff Met and Cardiff.
There we go. I hope that was a, a useful um, a useful insight for you for uh, for Cardiff as a city um, and for Cardiff Metropolitan within within the UK. Every time I see these videos, I feel really proud. You know, I think it's a city that is you can see the fun, you can see the fun environment within university. OK, um, but yeah, it's, a, it's great to see these things. Great to see some additional pictures of this uh, this fantastic city and what the university can offer for you as uh, as potential students. OK, so just to uh, just to go back to the uh, the presentation then. Um, again, just to uh, to resume where where we left off. Um, again, bear with me. Sorry about this. A second for the. Okay, so in terms of um, of Cardiff, as we can see, um, you know the city uh, really is a very very uh, cosmopolitan, but very very vibrant, very modern capital city. Um, just apologies again i don't know whether this is not working for me as well as i'd like so uh, there we go i hope that's a little bit better for you so yeah there's there's the uh, the city from from above really of cardiff okay now the university is just out of the picture here um but you can see how compact the city is okay so you can walk around the city it's very safe very easy to to get around the city itself um, you have the uh, the Principality or Millennium Stadium in the right hand side of the screen there on the on the screenshot. Um, and for the football fans, we obviously in Egypt, uh, the Champions League final 2017 between Juventus and Real Madrid um, was held there. Where again, Gareth Bale, Wales is Gareth Bale again, uh, played and, and and helped Real Madrid win that competition. You've got the castle, okay. You've got the modern, vibrant shops. Okay, and, and the galleries, and then and just in the distance of the picture, you have a the, the, the sort of coastline, um, where so you see how Cardiff, how close proximity is to the coast. So again, it's one of Europe's youngest capital cities. Okay, very friendly, very welcome and safe environment, as you will find with uh, with Wales on a whole. Okay, we are a very friendly sit, uh, very friendly country. Okay, and same same with Cardiff as well. I think you've seen on the video there the, the low cost of living. Okay, the Cardiff has been voted one of the cheapest, uh, most affordable student cities in the UK. Now, bearing in mind it's a capital city as well. Okay, that that's a, that's a real attractive selling point for us for for students. We mentioned we touched on the transportation. Okay, obviously transportation within within Cardiff is is easily accessible for students. Um, and really Cardiff as a city, okay, we said about the friendly welcoming environment, but it's also those facilities for all students, all religions and faiths, okay. Um, I mean, Cardiff Metropolitan as a whole, okay, has, a, has over 100, 130 odd students, uh, countries represented for students, sorry. Um, and there's other universities in the city as well, okay. So you can imagine you, you add those, those other universities, the other international mix, and Cardiff really is a fantastic, vibrant city with that cultural diversity. Is everybody okay so far? I hope everything is going okay for you. Okay, so why would you choose Cardiff Metropolitan? I think there's so many choices out there for you as potential students, um, probably too much choice. And that's even whether or not you're coming to the UK or going elsewhere. But certainly in the UK, you have a number of choices and a number of things you need to be considering. I think, to be honest, you know, as we said, it is a capital city, okay, um, and yeah, you know, we have over, students over 12,000 students attending Cardiff Metropolitan, okay, as we see it from over 140 countries. Um, we're proud of a lot of the, the awards we won over the years, okay, in terms of student support, in terms of the visa support, the accommodation support, we have a team, okay, a designated team that can help you with every aspect of your stay in the UK. And that will obviously start from the, from the time you uh, you arrive into uh, into the UK. It would probably be London, okay. Even though Cardiff does have an international airport, you're not going to get live uh, direct flights there from uh, from anywhere from the mainland, okay. So you would have to be in direct flights. But again, obviously you can, you can easily get to uh, to London um, from uh, from Cairo and Alexandria and, and, and airports in in Egypt. Um, and again, we would pick you up at the airport. So we have the airport service, we would pick you up and that is where your support starts. Okay, once, you, once you're part of Cardiff Metropolitan, you will be supported and have that trust. 
Now, I think, you know, say I'm really, really proud of the university. I'm, I'm proud of the, the friendly environment um, and what it has to offer. OK, as we said, there's a strong focus on career and professional development um, and workplace and obviously an internship, which we'll talk about as the session uh, develops. High employability, OK, within Cardiff Metropolitan. And again, we like to think that we have very competitive tuition fees and scholarships. And this really is, is in line with the, uh, the cost of living in Cardiff, as you said, one of the cheapest cities in the UK for students. Now, in terms of Cardiff Metropolitan, okay, we have five unique academic schools, all that offer real sort of modern, vibrant facilities, okay, and new courses are being added all the time that we're really excited about. I'm obviously not going to go through all of the courses um, for this session tonight for you, um, but obviously please use the website and obviously contact, contact BISA for information around some of these schools and certainly the programmes underneath that you may be interested in. So we've got the Cardiff School of Art and Design, absolute amazing building, okay, and facilities and they are second to none if you're interested in any, any art related programmes. We've got the School of Education and Social Policy, again looking at sort of developing you um, for, a, for a career in education. We've got the School of Sport and Health Sciences, okay, which again, as it says, sport based programmes, health based, the biomedical programmes, biomedical sciences, food technology, they're all within that school. We then got the Cardiff School of Management, okay, potentially the largest school for our international market. Um, and again, we'll look at those, those sort of programs shortly. And the newest school that we've got, okay, is the Cardiff School of Technologies. So it's looking at your, your, your popular programs within computer science and technology, robotics, and virtual reality. So it's quite a nice mix, okay? Five unique schools split across two campuses again, ideally located from, uh, from the city of Cardiff. I'm going to show you another video, if that's okay, just around the academic schools, just so you can have a little bit more understanding as to what is on offer for you. Okay, so I'm just going to stop sharing this presentation screen for a second. Um, I'm going to open up the video for you. And again, hopefully, the, uh, the, the technology will, will support me. Okay, so let's just show you the academic schools then within within uh, within Cardiff Met. There we go. Hopefully that was uh, that was that was very uh, enlightening for you again to have a look at the the, the fantastic facilities um, and around the schools of uh, of Cardiff Metropolitan. I think what we will do, okay, I'm just sort of conscious of obviously with the time and the questions, but I think I'll run through some of the other important aspects now within within the university, if that's okay for yourselves, and then obviously we will look at some questions towards the end. Um, something I, I really wanted to, to talk about really um, 
with um, with the the university as a whole. Okay, is um, obviously it is it is a capital city. Okay, and this is again is something really really important to students. You know, just to understand the environment. Um, I can see. Sorry, there is a question that's come through, and I, I, I will answer this question if that's okay at this particular moment. Um, it's from Mohammed, so thank you, Mohammed, for your question. Um, asking, is the university in England, or does it have a branch in Egypt? It's a very good question. Um, now, in terms of um, our location, at the start we we discussed that Cardiff is in Wales. Okay, so it's obviously part of the UK, but a country is its own right. You're looking at around two hours away from uh, from London. Okay, so it's yeah, we are we are in Wales. Do we have a branch in Egypt? Actually, we do have a partnership um, with the Arab Academy (AAST). Okay, and we do run a number of our programs on a franchise method in Egypt as well. Now, obviously, the advantage of that is that students can attend those institutions and then obviously can attend Cardiff Met um, later in the, uh, the uh, the bachelors. Or the undergraduate programs. So it's a very good setup. So again, thank you, Mohammed, for that uh, for that question. Um, I can see questions coming around mechanical engineering as well. Um, I'll say at this stage, no, we don't have the engineering programs. I'm afraid, no engineering and no medicine. But we do have some variations around that if they are for your for your interest. Okay, let's just revert back then to. Um, to the presentation, just to run through some of the other aspects for you that you may find find useful. Uh, go be with me a second. So, in terms of the programs we're offering, okay, we said about those five unique academic schools, um, but the types of programs we offer at Cardiff Metropolitan. So, we run our own pre-sessional programs. Okay, so if you find that your English um, isn't up to a stand potentially for, for direct entry to a bachelor's or to a master's. Okay, we do have a number of pre-sessional English courses that we can offer you as part of that, as part of that package. Okay, they run on campus from a very expert team. Okay, and they will give you all of the help and support um, and obviously bring in the English to the required standard based on your scores. So we'll come back to that in a, in a, in a second. We have foundation programs, okay, which again are run um, through Cardiff Metropolitan. You get the Cardiff Metropolitan Foundation Awards. We have two variations. We have an international foundation, which is looking really at developing the English, the English side of it, okay, with your academic background. Um, and then obviously trying to look at, at, at the options then after that foundation program. And we also then have, um, have an, a foundation with pathways. Now the foundations we've set up are linked to the academic schools. Okay, so it's looking at giving you that option of attending a foundation, really developing your knowledge, building your English at the same time, giving you an insight to the learning and to the types of the curriculum and how the uh, how the, the, the programs are taught in the UK. So foundation programs are always very, very popular. Okay, especially if you're, uh, the, 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 the marks are not quite enough for, for the direct entry. Undergraduate programs, obviously. Um, I can see we've got another question there. How many years for business in your university? Our standard undergraduate programs, okay, are looking at three years. Okay, so it's three years in the UK, and then obviously a, a potential one year on top um, if you're looking at a master's as well then. We do have options, okay, for advanced entry and top-ups. So again, that would depend on your, your exact circumstances. It would depend on um, obviously your qualifications and your development so far. And what we can obviously do with BISA is look then, um, if that was of interest, we could look at whether or not the top up is an, is an option for you. We, we run, um, we run postgraduate programs, obviously, as we said, so masters, okay, lots of masters programs across those five unique schools that we talked around. And something else that we started last year that we're very proud of is a postgraduate program with internship. So it makes, the, it makes it a two year um, duration, okay? But you're looking at a one year master's and a one year internship in the UK. So I'll come back to that a little bit later through, the, through this session, but it's something that is very, very popular, especially for our international students. Okay, let me just try and keep an eye on the questions at the same time then. Um, as well as we said, obviously, PhD programs, PhD programs are run, obviously, through Cardiff Metropolitan. But what we do is on a case by case basis. 
So we would work with BISA, they would help you submit your documents, okay, and then obviously we would look as to whether or not the school has the capacity and the supervision around your PhD. In terms of how, uh, from BISA's perspective as well, obviously, as we said, BISA, fantastic for us um, and will be great allies for yourselves in Egypt. So if you think after the session, you would like more information about Cardiff Metropolitan, please, please, please speak to BISA. Okay, they will be able to help you and advise you around the documentation, the courses, and what, what sort of documents and certificates you're going to need to provide. They will, they will sort of discuss the options around um, the deposit payment, and then any other options from there and things you might need as part of your application. So I really thoroughly recommend please speak to BISA um, and see how they can help you um, if, if obviously Cardiff Metropolitan is, uh, is, is what you're looking for. Okay, so let me just uh, move that along to the next slide for you. And just a little bit about entry requirements. Now certain programs will be different Okay, there are some programs, some master's programs may have varying levels, but I just want to give you a general feel, if that's okay, around your, uh, around the potential uh, entry for those different avenues. So we've got the International Foundation Program, eh? Okay, so if you pass the Thanawea AMA, I'm hoping I've said that right, um, or equivalent to five GCSEs, A to C, okay, plus an IELTS 4.5, you can come on an International Foundation Program within Cardiff Metropolitan, that could potentially then lead on directly lead on, lead on to uh, to other to uh, uh, undergraduate programs. Then, in terms of the undergraduate, okay, as you can see there, um, A levels or the IB. Obviously, we will we will look at make, making that comparison depending on which which avenue you have chosen. International back, we'll be looking approximately around twenty four points. Okay, so that's something just to consider as a general rule of thumb. Again, as we said, some courses, some programs may vary from that. So it's A-levels, it's the IB. Well, of course, it's the American High School Diploma. We're looking at a GPA of 3.0, okay, for undergraduate programmes. Um, and then, as you can see there, plus one of, so the SATs for 1,100 with, with a six in the essay. ACTs are 20 or above. And then we're looking for the advanced placements with scores of greater than three. So two of those, two of those APs. And for postgraduates, as you can see there, okay, you're looking at the bachelor score, let's say bachelor degree score of around 65% or GPA 2.6. And that is the mainstream entry requirements for our, for our programs. As we said, there may be some differences for certain programs you're looking for. It may vary and depend on, on your ex, your, what, what you have achieved. Okay, but this is why we then sort of, we will work with BISA and we will see how we can help you offer the best possible option and package for you on those, um, on those, on those programs. I guess you know some other questions uh, just starting here um, around scholarships. Okay, now, as you probably found out from other universities and other sessions that you've attended, um, it's very difficult to get to obtain full UK scholarships, okay, other than through achievement. But we will come on to the fees in a second. So we do have scholarships for our international students, but they're not full. And I shall, uh, I shall, uh, I shall show you that one. It might be the next slide. Next but one. English requirements. Okay, so we are looking, as we said, we have the International Foundation Programme that you can study with us. And all you need of that is an IELTS of 4.5, okay, and a minimum of 4, 4.0 in each component. So that is, is very different to some other universities because we do run our own foundation programs on Cardiff Metropolitan and they are through our teaching teams, and our facilities. Okay, so you're not using another provider. The foundations are actually run and managed um, on site. From an English uh, perspective then for undergraduate. Okay, again, the general rule of this is a 6.0 overall um, with a 5.5 minimum in each component. Again, there may be variations based on the course, and it's worth just checking the website for that. And for our postgraduate programs, again, the same sort of score. So again, the basic rule of thumb is a 6.0 IELTS um, with a minimum 5.5 in each component. Now, something that students certainly at the moment have been asking us is that obviously with the situation with COVID, you can't attend the IELTS for testing. Um, we do actually accept IELTS indicator in Cardiff Metropolitan. Okay, given the current, the current circumstances, 
with um, with, the, with the COVID closures and lockdowns. So that's something to bear in mind. English requirements, if you need your IELTS, you can do the IELTS indicator online. I think it's $149, I believe it is, um, with a very, very quick turnaround um, on results. So that is certainly something worth considering for your IELTS. In addition to that, okay, we have um, a pre-sessional programs. So again, that would be looking at, at sort of short, condensed programs in terms of build your, your IELTS to the requirement, required level for starting those programs. And as you can see there, we have three variations of, of those, of those uh, pre-sessionals. So we have, a, if your IELTS has got a score of 4.5, okay, again, in a minimum of, of 4.0 in every component, is a 14-week program, a score of 5.0, okay, and again, the minimum of 4.5 there, a 10-week. And if your IELTS is 5.5, so you've only just missed out, okay, and you've got a minute, no, no lower than five in any component, then we offer a six-week pre-sessional that, that obviously you could, you could attend the pre-sessional, get the required standard of English, and then uh, move on to the undergraduate or postgraduate course, inshallah. So what about the fees? The all-important fee question. So just by looking at the screen there, okay, you can see that these fees are, are, are quite competitive okay, within the UK, especially, again, considering this is a capital city. Okay, so you're in a capital city in Cardiff, the capital city of Wales. International Foundation, okay, um, we said the, the foundation we will run on, on campus, okay, and at Cardiff Met Awards, £9,250 on the, the, on the International Foundation. Undergraduate, okay, so all of our undergraduate programs, 12500 And what we can then do, obviously we had some questions around scholarships, you get a, a 1200 scholarship um, off that. So that brings that undergraduate program down to £11,300, okay, in the UK. Fantastic. Postgraduate masters. So all of our masters programs, we're looking at 13500 And again, we can offer you a 1500 scholarship off that, brings it down nicely to 12000 um, And the MBA is just a little bit more than the, the postgrad. So that's 14000 um, with a one and a half thousand. So again, it brings the MBA down to twelve and a half thousand. And just again to reinforce with the COVID situation, um, obviously students will not be compromised. Okay, we are looking at running a blended approach to start the programs. Okay, so there will be a mixture of online of face to face. Okay, so you will still be having that experience with the uh, with the, the lectures face to face as well as online. And obviously, you know, we'll be keeping an eye on the COVID situation. And see how that develops um, over over time then into the into the new year. So they, they are the tuition fees. Okay, and again, BSIC can help you um, help you with those and help you in terms of the scholarship. We've come into Cardiff Metropolitan, um, and again, so they are ni nicely competitive fees. Given that the UK is obviously very very expensive to 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 attend, we appreciate that. So I talked um, at the start, and I showed you some of the videos, okay? Now we have a, a designated YouTube channel, okay? Cardiff Met International. And what we've done with those videos, we try to pull a lot of frequently asked questions together that students may have. What's a conditional offer? You know, how do I start? How do I apply? <coughs> Excuse me. Entry requirements, we have videos around the accommodation, we have videos from students from different countries to give you that feeling. Okay, so it's worth, if you can, have a look at that YouTube channel, Cardiff Met International, subscribe to it, and then every time we post a new video, which we try to do weekly, you will obviously receive those updates and give you some information. It may be relevant, it may not be for you, but we think it's, we're quite proud of that service and we're quite proud of the fact that it's, it's giving you that visual side and potentially asking, answering some questions you may, be, uh, you may be thinking around. Okay, so something else happening with Cardiff Metropolitan then, okay, is the two-year postgraduate. Now, obviously, all of the, the, the postgraduates in, in Cardiff Met are ideally a year, okay? So the taught side of it would be a year. But what we have got, okay, is this um, an option, certain programs, okay? So it's a, it's a two-year program um, with an internship. So it's a one-year program. So you pay the standard fees, 
okay, for that program. And then a fee of 1,800 for the placement for that, for that second year. And of course, what that would do is give you the exposure within the, uh, within the UK. Gives you paid, paid uh, potential paid internships. And it, again, it's something that's very, very popular. It's only those programs you can see in front of you, okay? So it's only those programs at the moment that are offering um, the potential scholarship. And how that would work, it obviously goes in via, um, uh, via the school. The school will then make the decision certainly around at the moment with the, the COVID situation. But it's a fantastic opportunity if you wanted to come to the UK and you're looking at staying and, and potentially having another year on top for, for internships. So I hope that's, uh, that's, uh, that may be something of, of use to you. Okay, and for interest. So we said the MBA is on there. So you can look to do an MBA at Cardiff Met. So the MBA would be £14,000, uh, plus then you'd have a year's internship, um, £1,800 around your, around your designated uh, pathway. So I think it's a real good option for you, um, certainly to consider if you are looking to come into the UK. Let me just check some other questions. I'll leave those on the screen for a second, just for you to have a look and just for you to see if any of those, while I try to look for some, some, some other questions. So again, yeah, ideal the questions around the, the scholarships. So yeah, the best you're gonna see is that partial scholarship. Okay, so that's something that, um, uh, that is, is, is worth looking at. It's relative to the fee, okay? So people sometimes say the scholarships are lower, but again, our starting fees are lower as well. So just making it a little bit more competitive for you as potential students thinking of, uh, of coming to Cardiff Met. Um, just trying to look in terms of the application questions. All of our application process is done online, okay? But what we recommend, um, and this question is from Manur Han, so thank you for that in terms of your question for the ap application. We would advise to go via, uh, obviously via BISA to start with, BISA will help you. They'll help you understand the documentation you're going to require. Okay, they will pull your certificates. They will advise again on, on suitable documentation, how to pay the deposits and how to apply from, uh, from, from there. We have a question around um, from Linda about scholarships and masters in interior design. Um, the interior design is only run at the moment as an undergraduate. Okay, but what we do offer um, we have a, a product design. We're looking at global design, okay, and a master's, which again, you'll be looking at those, those similar, um, similar scholarships as we've seen on the, on the previous screen there. So it'd be 13,500 for the course fee, take off your 1,500, brings it down to, to 12,000 pounds. It's worth having a look at the website, okay? Have a look at the website, have a look at the types of courses, um, and again, obviously speak to Bisa and myself and we can, we can, we can find a solution for you. We have a question from uh, Rami. Um, when should I apply for the next year? Okay, so Cardiff Metropolitan, okay, does have, uh, does offer a, a second intake. So it may be that you're thinking that this September with, with the situation with COVID, which is actually improving in Wales, can I, can I just say we had the news today from the UK that we are being downgraded, which is great news. Um, the students may be feeling that they, they want to come to Cardiff Metropolitan, but maybe September isn't an option. Maybe you're waiting on some qualifications already um, in Egypt um, that obviously could impact on your, on your entry. We do have a January intake. Okay, so just something to bear in mind for you all is the Cardiff Met will have a full offering in September, and then we will also have a partial offering of programs again in Jan as the January intake. And at the moment, you know, we're still trying to finalize those programs because obviously we're, we're trying to focus initially on September, but we are aware that there are a lot of programs already, we you know, confirmed to be, to be available um, for January intake as well. So again, if that's something of interest, have a look on the website, speak to BISA um, and speak to, speak to us around, um, around you know, potentially um, how, we can, how we can help on, on that. So January intake is, is, a big, is, a big, um, is a big option. Just trying to see what other questions we have before we move on again. Um, Okay, so we've got a question from, uh, is it Susu? 
Uh, so a graduate and MBA, BA degree in development and environmental management. So well done for that. First off, that seems a very complicated uh, degree. Apply for a master's program in business administration. So yeah, so we, we obviously our MBA is very popular. As you can see on the screen, we've got the MBA, we've got the various master's programs around, um, around um, in the business field in, in a fantastic sort of dynamic school of management. Okay, so it's whether... Uh, you look at developing uh, those programs. Okay, so again, for the MSCs, so any, any MSCs in the business factory, you're looking at around 13,500 with a 1,500 scholarship. And if it's the MBA, it's then 14,000 with a 1,500 scholarship. Potentially, again, then with that, you do have the option, as you can see there, of, of the internship in Cardiff as well. Okay, so thank you, Suzu. I hope that that's answered that question for you as well. Um, let me just, um, so I should move on from this to the rest of the presentation. Um, but obviously it's just, you know, we, we can provide this information to BISA so we can show you this information again, if you're interested in a master's with an internship or without, obviously, but if you, if you like the idea of the internship, again, the information is on the website, but BISA will be able to, uh, to help you with, with that as well. Okay. So. Let's just take this to the next slide. I thought it was the end of this section, actually. So it, it brings us nicely through. I think we've covered everything, okay, in terms of what I was expecting some of the, 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 the questions to be. Um, certainly some of the questions that when I've been in Egypt and attended phase, we've been looking at you know, how, do, how do we apply, what documentation, what entry requirements, fees, scholarships, okay. Obviously, accommodation side of things as well. We touched on. We have a very, very dynamic team here in Cardiff Met um, that will help you with everything from your accommodation. So once you have your offer, okay, they'll help with your with your accommodation, with your visa, and then as we said, that support continues right throughout your your journey to Cardiff. Um, hopefully in September. Um, so obviously, as we said, BISA, We obviously use uh, we work with BISA, um quite well in Egypt. Um, and unfortunately for me, I can't be in Cairo now. I would absolutely love to be in Cairo with you talking um, and obviously giving you more time. But I hope this has given you a little bit of an understanding as the Cardiff Metropolitan. I say it's a, it's a very fun, very safe city, very modern capital city in the UK, two hours away from London. So you're away from all the hustle and bustle of London and in a, in a, still in a, in, a, in a cosmopolitan city environment. So BISA will be able to help you and advise. They'll be able to take your questions. They will be able to obviously, the important thing then is if you are looking to come to Cardiff, they will help you with your application, advise you on the documentation, and then obviously it gets passed to us and we can, we can help you from there. But our, our, our big tip is to, to use BISA um, for those first, uh, those first phases. I got the email address on, on screen for myself. Okay, so if you did want to ask me a question as well, you're welcome to do so. Um, but as we said, I'm looking at info at bisa, uh, eg .com as your main source to start this process off if you're looking to come to the, uh, to the, to the UK. Um, international, okay, at Cardiff Met. So again, that's another email address that we use quite a lot in terms of you finding out some informa additional information on the university. But as we said, you know, Facebook, uh, social media, Instagram, Twitter, okay? Keep an eye, keep subscribing on Cardiff Met, okay? And have a look at those channels. The Cardiff Met International YouTube channel, as we said, is our massive resource that we use um, just to, to, you know, to, to promote, to get those messages across that perhaps we can't do so on a, on a daily basis. And it's good for you to be updated. It will show you, um, it will show you, give you some advice on applications, around processing, around student contributions, student, student views as well. Okay, so it's worth subscribe to that, have a look at those videos, have a look back over the other videos that we, that we talked at earlier as well. Um, I'm just gonna try and look through some other questions. Um, Mohammed Hisham, uh, is this, will, this, will the study be at the university or online? It's a very, very good question, obviously, and, and something that we're all, um, keen to explore at the moment with, with the situation with COVID. Um, the way we look at it at the moment, okay, is that we've, we've got the campus in such a, uh, such a, the work that's been done. 
to ensure that the safety is there for students and staff. Okay, we, are, we didn't want to operate totally online. And we understand that that's not really what students are looking for either. So for us, we're looking at a blended learning approach, certainly for the autumn term, and that's allowing us to start um, as early as September, as you see from those original, uh, the original dates. So it is blended, so it's going to be a mixture, okay, um, a mixture of face-to-face, of, -face, of online, of virtual breakouts. So it's, it's still going to give you that experience, okay, whilst obviously maintaining your, your safety, which is the key for, for, for everybody. I hope that's answered your question, Mohammed. Very, very useful question. Um, again, another question has come up around the MBA and its requirement from Hadi Aziz. Um, okay, so what we would do uh, on this, obviously we, we, we've shown the, the, the general um, entry requirements. So what we would need to do is obviously have a closer look at your, your exact certificates and the avenues that you're looking for. Because on that way, sometimes, you know, we, we have the generic um, entry requirements, but you, your marks may, may vary, or there may be experience that you can bring to the, to the equation as well. So we do look at the applications on, a, on an individual case basis, okay? And we do look at it in, in terms of our making the assessment and trying to find the best fit for you. So if you are interested, obviously we need to get in touch with us and Visa, um, so we can start looking at your certificates and start having a look at what the best fix for um, for for you and those and those programs. Just trying to look through some of the other questions here. Uh, bear with me. Uh, American. Uh, so, a question from Omar, um, American diploma student. Is it a must to have SATs? Let me just go back to that one the, to the to the screen for you. Uh, just to show you those those kind of standard entry requirements for the program you're looking for. I thought there was only one slide back. So, <laughs> okay, so from undergraduates, yeah. So we are looking at the, the, the high school diploma of 3.0 plus. Okay, so it's either one of. So it's the SATs with 11, 1,100, six in the essay. The ACT is 20 or above, okay, or advanced placements with a score of three so we'll be looking at two of those two of those modules okay or well, master again the best thing to do with that is to speak to BISA provide them with your documentation have a look at the courses and, and see what we can do see which one of those which program you're looking for and how we can perhaps help and advise um, to, to get you to come to Cardiff okay so thanks for that Omar uh, another question from Ahmed Omar, do we have PhDs? Uh, yes, we do offer PhDs in Cardiff Met. Okay, again, um, BISA will be able to advise you on, on, um, on whether or not that will be possible based on, on the topic. Okay, so it's worth speaking to BISA, it's worth having that, the idea in mind as to what you'd be looking for for the PhD. And it's done on a, it's, 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 the decisions are made on a case by case basis. Okay, and what happens then, we, the information is sent to the program director in the school, they would review it and see if they have the capacity for the, for the supervision. And that's obviously the key. Okay, so I hope again, Ahmed, uh, that's answered your, your question. Can students get internships? A question from Islam during study. Yes, it's um, what we have obviously in Cardiff. Okay? It is a capital city and the university is very close to the city. Now we have a designated team within the students' union and, and, and within the, within university that will help students look for internships. Okay, so that's that's obviously important to consider with the visa side of things how that would Im impact. But yes, on the whole, the, 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 the rule basically is that yes, you can be looking for internships. Obviously, certainly for those for those masters programs as well. Just uh, looking through some other questions there. Um, Okay, very interesting question here. Um, Sadiq Abubakar, uh, Abraham. Hello, thanks for your question. Um, I else, so we're looking at a question around the English language. Okay, so yes, for Cardiff Metropolitan, what we, sorry, let me find that slide again for you. Um, IELTS is our main 
is our main uh, qualification. Okay, now obviously um, from the English side of things, we'll be looking at those 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 kind of IELTS depending on your program. So undergraduate six point zero, postgraduate again six point zero, with no lower than five point five. Now, given the situation with COVID, um, you know, obviously some of the testing centers haven't been open and it, it's delaying the process. Um, IELTS indicator is an online authorized IELTS test that you can, you can take. You can take it from home. You can take it from wherever you need to, to study that from. Um, it works on the same basis and the same assessment criteria as IELTS. Okay. And at the moment for Cardiff Metropolitan for this intake and potentially for, for the January intake, we will be accepting IELTS indicators as a formal English qualification. So I hope that's answered the question around that. It comes up quite a lot at the moment, certainly with the situation of students not being able to, to, to take an IELTS test in the testing centres, just IELTS indicators. Let me just look at some of the questions coming through. Second, see what we've got. Any other? No, no, not a question, but just to say hello to Bacher. Um, I hope you're well, Bacher. I hope uh, I hope you're all uh, enjoying this this webinar. Just looking. Any other questions? Um, there's a question for us that is, um, what about Manchester? Um, what about Manchester? Um, obviously, I, I can't, I wouldn't be in a position to advise you on any other university. I'm here for Cardiff Metropolitan. Cardiff is about three hours away from Manchester. So if you did want to, uh, if you had friends there and you wanted to visit um, and you wanted to, to, to visit friends, but other than the university side, obviously I can just advise on, on Cardiff Met. But thanks for your question, Azam. Thank you very much. Okay, we got any other questions there? Nothing that's coming through. I say it's just interesting, obviously, just please, please, please uh, liaise with BISA. Um, keep an eye, keep, keep sort of talking to BISA. Um, keep asking, keep, have a look at the YouTube channel. Okay, I, I, I say about the YouTube channel, but it's, it's Fantastic resource to give you some information. Um, okay, so so please um, please keep an eye on that, uh, and please have a look because it will answer a lot of your questions. Certainly around coming to the UK, um, and certainly with the current situation around COVID. Okay, we do have to say the way we stand today. Um, the UK has been downgraded a level, which is fantastic news, um, and Wales are obviously a lot lower cases again than in England, but. Again, it's a global a global issue for you when uh, when coming to the UK. Let me have a look at some of the questions coming through. Bacha, in light of the applying for MBA, if a bachelor degree score is less than sixty five, could you consider years of experience? Fantastic question. Okay, certainly something that we would look at. Okay, we we really want to try and provide the best opportunity for you. And the reason sometimes that the, the level is set there is that we don't want to, we don't want you to come to the UK and find that it's it's not suitable for you. So yes, by all means, sometimes students will have a more um, the, the the more experience and experiential side of things that they will be able to bring to their application. And again, yes, we can look at that on a case by case basis. We can obviously uh, obviously talk to PISA. They can they can liaise with us. And, and we would also need then a, a recommendation, a letter of recommendation from your employer, um, just to show what exactly your, du your duties have been relevant to that, to the program you're looking to study. But yes, certainly we do look at experience on top of the, uh, the academic qualifications as well. So that's a great question, Baha. Thank you very much. There are so many new programs that are also being added. Okay. Um, either for 2021, okay, we have a whole host of programs that have been added this year. We said about the new School of Technologies, okay, so again, that's looking at a branch of more uh, futuristic side of computer programs, as well as the, the standard computer science software engineering programs, so they are running as well, um, but we're always adding new programs, okay, in all of the schools this year, we have new programs on offer, again, 
you know, really proud that the growth is going that way. So it's, it's, it's a sign of a good university that we can keep providing these programs and new programs, keeping things fresh for our market. I think that's pretty much it for the time. Um, I say I would have loved nothing more than to have been in Egypt with you to talk about uh, the one and only Mr. Mohammed Salah. Okay, that it that comes with me everywhere when I travel to Egypt. Um, but yeah, obviously, given the current situation, we've had to do this virtually. I hope you found it useful. Um, and I hope that we've given you some information that you find enjoyable for Cardiff Metropolitan. And potentially, if you want more information, as you said, that the details um, are there to contact Bisa and myself. Um, and hopefully we can we can bring you to the UK into Cardiff. So thank you very much. OK, thank you for your time. Shukran. Um, please stay safe. And hopefully we'll see you in Cardiff uh, in the near future, inshallah.